Hey fellow tiller enthusiasts, this is Cal from Skeeter Boat Center here to go through a quick little video with you on the Warrior V1890. Why don't you come on back with me over here to, and I'll show you the business end of this boat is where we'll start, where all the good action happens. Just a little reminder folks, we do like talking about fishing, we are fishermen. Give us a call at Skeeter Boat Center, stop on in. If I miss anything in this video, I do apologize up front, but we're there to answer the questions when you come on in. Start right back here. 24 volt, 80 pound Minn Kota Vantage. Comes standard on all the 1890s. We choose reliability, we're sticking with the Yamaha F90 in the 25 inch shaft for best performance on this boat. Included on that 25 inch shaft is an edge plate. Edge plate is designed to get you up on plane better. It's also designed to hold and maintain plane, low plane speeds in that rougher water. By all means, that's what we, us tiller fishermen love to do is to back troll in the rougher water. Going back to the fully customizable shop, this one right now does not have a set of wave whackers on. Some people choose to have them, some people choose not. We'll leave that up to you when you come in and talk to us. Another very cool feature in the back of the boat here is a high speed live well pickup. When you are running from point A to point B, feel free to leave the pumps on to keep your fish alive in the water, in the live well. We also do have a transducer plate bracket right here that prevents any drilling into the fiberglass of the boat. Feel free to, to mount your favorite Lowrance Hummingbird or Garmin on this, on this transducer bracket right here. Moving forward up to the front of the boat along the port side here, the boat does come standard on the easy loader trailer with a set of boat buckles. Very easy to take off so when you are waiting in line to load the boat, whether it's a quick line or a long line, you can definitely take the boat buckles off real fast. Moving forward up here, Easy Loader Trailer does come standard with two aluminum step plates. Nice landing pad whether you're getting into the boat or coming out of the boat. Tough coated wheel wells, tough coated trailers so when you are traveling down those less desirable gravel roads, prevent any rock chipping from hitting and affecting your trailer. This one does have an aluminum upgrade wheel on it give a little flare as well as a warrior branded light when you are traveling down the road at night. We'll let everybody know what boat you're representing. Coming up to the midpoint of the boat is called the midship of the boat. This is actually the widest point on the 1890. It does taper back, gets narrower back here, which allows you to have less water displacement as you're back trolling, which means it's narrower so you're pushing less water, which gives you improved tracking. Revo reverse flare right here directs water downward so when you are traveling on the rough days we've all been in tiller boats before we've all gotten wet from spray reverse flare right here keeps the water down reset cleat recess cleat right here whether you're docking or you got you got a drift sock attached to it right here is another good spot very important feature as well in this 1890 is the keel guard Keel guard does prevent any type of damage to your fiberglass hull when you are running the boat up on shore. Some additional features on the trailer. Fulton jack, easy raising and lowering of the, of the trailer depending on the height of your truck. The safety chain or safety strap right here as well as a Fulton 2 jack. Now the Warrior 1890 is 18 feet 3 inches long. Uh, just the boat itself, boat and motor. Now, the length from the, from the tongue to the motor down is 21 feet, just a little bit over 21 feet, which allows <clears throat> this boat to fit in most conventional suburban garages. You don't need to have the pole barn shed, you don't need to have a super long detached garage. This 18, 1890 model will rival the features of a 2090, but will fit in most economical garages. Two aluminum step plates right here as well. Also does have a seven pin connector, safety chain, as well as secure uh, pin right here to keep everything down. Real easy, nice little feature here as well. Winch post ladder and addition, a spare tire and spare tire carriers right there. I'm gonna hop up the winch post ladder. Come standard on all the Skeeter Boat Center's 1890s, the winch post ladder allows quick, easy access to get into the boat. Whether you're in the garage or when I'm loading the boat, I drive my boat up right here. You can hop down the, the winch post ladder, connect my strap right there, 
hop back in. Away you go, my driver pulls me out. Why don't you guys jump on inside the boat here, we'll show you some inside features, come on with. Hey folks, welcome to the 18, Warrior 1890 Tiller Command Center. As tiller fishermen, we never leave this position. Now let me show you some of the features that it has back here. It basically has all the storage, everything you need right at your fingertips. Pretty cool storage center right back here. Place to throw your truck keys, your cell phone, first aid kits, pliers, whatever you want to have easy access to. Another storage right underneath here, your starting battery is in there. So if there is ever any issues, if you would happen to need a jump start, Hook the jumper cables up right there, super easy. Also allows you to store some 3600, some 3700 Plano boxes in there as well. Plug for the Vantage, easy access to the Vantage, no brainer, right? Moving over to the business end, the motor, the 90 horse F90 from Yamaha right here. Super easy to get to the key switch, tether cord, throttle. Trim right here on your throttle, VTS on the Yamaha. The VTS is variable trolling speed allows you to dial up and down your RPMs, unmatched, unparalleled to the Yamaha reliability. Keep moving on forward to the back of the boat here. Got your live well, very easy access. Whoa. It's tight, it's new. Whoever buys this boat, break it in for me, all right? Access to your power gauges, your fuel, your RPM, your speeds. Cigarette lighter for those guys that still have the H2OCs, plug it in right there. Courtesy lights, wash down station if you do choose to get one. Horn, bilge pump, two bilge pumps in this boat, navigate anchor lights, as well as your live well. You got a bow live well and you got a back live well here that I just showed you. Easy access to the radio, tune in to your favorite radio station. You also do have a USB port here for charging anything that you want to charge. Super quick, super easy access to any electronics. Huge mounting station right here. Mount two 12 inch graphs there, no problem. Underneath the electronics mount, additional storage goes way back, goes way underneath there. Tons of room for 3,700 boxes, 3,600 boxes, towels, pliers, whatever it may have. Should your bilge pump get stuck, should you need to change your bilge pump, super, access, super quick access right back here allows you to get into any type of storage, additional storage if you want there, or if you do need to change out any pumps. From here, from this command center, I do have access to my starboard and my port um, rod lockers. They will hold up to 12 foot rods in there, as well as your center rod storage, which I'll show you in a minute, will hold eight footers. Down here in these turnkey doors is just more additional storage. Storage is plentiful in this 1890 for an 18-foot, 3-inch boat. You have more storage than a guy would need. Driver chair on the 1890 does give you a couple different options. So whether you're a big guy or a small guy, you do have a slider that you can move the chair forward or back to fit your custom command center. It does have a raise and lower air ride pedestal. So we are up in the rougher water. It's a little bit more of a comfortable dry, comfortable ride. Um, looking down at the floor, we have a non-slip floor right here. Um, if you do take on, if you are fishing out in the rain, we do have a little cutout back here in the boat in this 1890. Allows all the water to come off the floor, run right into the bilge, right out the back of the boat. Or if you are one of those lucky guys that does get a lot of fish throughout the day, um, crawler guts, leech guts, fish guts, whatever, fish, whatever, pressure wash the floor, all goes right out to the back of the boat. There is also another drain right down here in the middle of the boat as well. So if you are fishing in the rain, it'll drain real, out, real easy. Moving forward to the bow of the boat, like I talked about earlier, the midship, we do have a courtesy light right there. A little bit above the courtesy light is an onboard charger receptacle, so you don't have to climb into the boat to charge the boat overnight. Moving forward to the bow, additional speaker, crank the tunes in the front. We have a trolling motor receptacle for whether 24, 36, or 12 volt trolling motor, and then you also do have your bow light receptacle. Coming back from the bow of the boat, you do have your starboard storage, your port storage, 
your cooler and your live well. And once again to mention, you do have a center rod locker that will hold up to eight foot rods. No rod tubes in that situation allows you to throw as, virtually as many rods as you have inside this boat. So in wrapping up the walk around of the Warrior 1890, just want to point out a couple standard features once again. We do have the keel guarded uh, custom travel cover that comes standard with this boat, as well as a Minn Kota 80 pound 24 volt Vantage. This 1890 is, 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 a, is an awesome boat. And what I mean by the word awesome is, is it does everything a 2090 can do, but it's garageable. I can't stress that enough that in today's housing environment, we all want the bigger boat, but it doesn't fit in our garage. Well, guess what folks, this boat fits. This boat will fit in your garage and it'll rival any aluminum boat on the market today. Feel free to stop into any one of our two locations. We have two locations for Skeeter Boat Center, also Warrior Boat Center. One in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, or right here locally in Ramsey, Minnesota, Skeeter Boat Center. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care.